In this video, I'm going to be using the FLIR One Pro thermal camera to test some various face masks that are really popular right now. So as we're in living in COVID times, a lot of people are wearing masks now. So they have N95, bandanas, some cloth masks, and also the surgical style masks. Well, I recently picked up this FLIR One Pro thermal camera to use for some flashlight videos. I like using it to test the thermal readings of flashlights. But you guys know that I like testing various masks and then testing N95 masks and gas masks of various types and other face shields. So I thought it'd be fun just to see how this thermal temperature camera would read the various masks that people wear. So we're gonna be testing them in this industrial size freezer that I have back here. So let's get started now with this video featuring the FLIR One Pro thermal camera and some masks. Let's get started. The FLIR One Pro thermal camera is a nice little thermal cam that hooks up to your mobile device. It hooked up to a tablet or a phone to show you a thermal image, kind of like what Predator sees in that movie. So what we're going to do is we're going to wear these various masks and we'll see where our air is escaping as we're in this industrial size freezer. It's about 32 degrees in there. So I'm imagining that most likely you'll be able to see my air because it's hot air in that cold temperature with a thermal camera. So we're gonna get in there right now and just test various masks. So a lot of people are wearing their mask kind of with bad mask etiquette where they have it on their, their mouth but their nose is exposed. We're gonna take a look at all those variations in addition to not wearing a mask at all. We'll just kind of see what the thermal camera is able to read. Before putting on the masks, this is what I look like in the industrial size freezer with no mask on. So just my face using a thermal camera. Let's start off first with one of the surgical style face masks. These ones are fairly inexpensive and a lot of people are wearing them out and about right now. And here's what the mask looks like using the thermal camera. Now just as a heads up, I am being a mouth breather on this one and breathing out of my mouth so you can see the air a little bit easier. Next, let's use one of those cloth face masks that you see out and about. These masks are usually made out of cotton, which is fairly porous, and they wrap around your ears. Something about the cloth material and the style of this particular mask makes me feel like I'm wearing a bikini bottom on my face, but I guess that's part of the deal. When you're on about, a lot of people have bad mask etiquette, where they're lowering the mask below their nose so they're able to breathe out of their nose a little easier. Let's first take a look at what that looks like using the thermal camera. And here's what that cotton mask looks like when worn properly using the thermal camera. Now let's use a cotton bandana as a face mask, which is also very popular when you're out and about. This one looks like you're robbing a stagecoach in the 1800s or you're in some kind of gang. Now let's use one of the Flatfold 3M N95 masks that I've been featuring my channel for about a half a decade now. These ones are really hard to find nowadays. And here's what it looks like using the thermal camera. And just for fun, let's use one of the Mira Safety CM6M full face gas masks and see what that looks like using the thermal camera. That's going to do it for this video featuring looking at a bunch of masks with the thermal camera. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching it. Again, this one featured the FLIR One Pro thermal camera and various masks that people are wearing nowadays when they're out and about. So as I was filming it, I didn't notice a whole bunch of the air with the thermal camera, at least picking it up outside of the mask, but you definitely saw the heat patterns from the mask. So I thought that was kind of interesting. So leave your comments below in the comment section regarding this video and stay tuned for more videos. See you guys next time.